I'm Kamaru Usman, the Nigerian Nightmare. Hi, this is Haider San. I'm fighting this Saturday. Come tune in if you want to see a war. On UFC Fight Pass. Kamaru Usman comes up huge for the Black Stallions! Being so close with Rashad Evans, you know, he was a, a tough champion, and so he's kind of poured into me just kind of the abilities and the, and the things, mental aspect that it takes to get to the top of my division by being a tough champion. And so, you know, I'm just trying to follow suit and listen to him and take his advice, such as, you know, the preparations and the, the right things that you want to put in your body and the way that you want to train smarter, not necessarily harder, in order to get to the top of the division. Well, I take pride, you know, in my skills and to really go out there and put on a show. Uh, so, so to get the love from the fans, uh, it's a beautiful thing, you know, that's what I go out there. I, you know, I honestly look at myself like a gladiator, you know, when they're stepping in the Coliseum, you know, it's either getting that thumb up or thumb down, and I'm going for that thumb up every time. And uh, so to hear the love, to hear, you know, people message me and say, you know, you're my favorite, it, it's, it's an honor, it's a blessing. Congratulations to Usman, congratulations to the Black Zillions, you guys win the Ultimate Fighter Trophy. Winning the show gave me confidence that the things that I was doing leading up to the fight were the right thing. Leading up to that show, I, I, I've been training years on end and, and it just kind of solidified the, the fact that those are the right things to, just to create that stepping stone to get to the top. And you know, since then I've always been confident that, you know, my abilities, but training with other champions as well definitely lets me know that I can be champion one day and I'm doing the right things it takes. Now that I'm in the UFC, it's, it doesn't get better than this. You know, this is the cream of the crop, the baddest warriors around. And for me, uh, coming off of a disappointing performance in July, I'm really looking at this fight as my breakout moment, uh, kind of my coming out party. And uh, this time I'm going to be healthy, I'm going to be fresh, and I'm going to show, you know, my true athleticism, ferociousness, and I'm going to go out there and take Vicente's head off. When you're in there in the room and there's an ATT guy in the room, there's always this little tension. You can't describe it. You don't know how it starts. You guys can be cool. You guys can talk, have a conversation, but there's always this little, I'm looking over my shoulder type of tension that's always in the room. You know, the rivalry is always going to be there. You know, um, they're 10 minutes from our gym. You know, they're producing powerhouse fighters. We're producing powerhouse fighters. So it's, uh, that competition is always going to be there. It's, it's just like, uh, you know, in football, I went to Florida State, so it's like when Florida State plays Miami. So those rivalries are always going to be there, and you, and you always want to live up to that moment. You want to live up to your expectations. And uh, for me, I'm, I'm super excited to go out there and show the differences between the last time I fought Vicente and what I've learned uh, over, this, over these past couple months. And I, I, I'm truly I'm going to go out there, I'm going to put, out, put destruction on him, and my goal is to not even get touched. Go, to, go do a photo shoot after the fight. This Saturday, I'm fighting Leon Edwards, and about him, he's a very slick, Southpaw, he's a slick striker. He likes to stand and he likes to he likes to throw that left high kick. That's one of his go-to. And his left hand, you know, he's very slick and very dynamic striker. But you know, one thing about him is that I, I just noticed studying him is he doesn't like to be uncomfortable. And you know, in my fights, you will get uncomfortable. And if you can't handle it, most likely you're gonna lose that fight. What I learned about Vicente is he's a traditional Muay Thai fighter, uh, so he has that forward and backward movements. I consider myself the better athlete. I'm gonna use superior angles and speed to uh, make him punish if he overextends, overreach. And uh, just really, I'm, I'm just, whatever he thinks he can do, I can do better. And I'm gonna go out there and do that on Saturday and I'm gonna make him regret ever wanting this rematch. I'm gonna be the victor on Saturday night because I have the ability to control where a fight takes place. If a fighter cannot control where that fight takes place, he's gonna get nervous. Muscles are gonna get sore. His mind's gonna clam up. He's gonna, he's gonna be completely out of his element. I have the ability to control that and I control the outcome of the fight. Don't forget this Saturday, watch my fight on UFC Fight Pass.